Hey friends, Dr. Murphy here. I'm going to try something new where I just review some of the news uh, noted as the latest in public health. So here, emerging infectious disease, a deadly kiss. Well, I didn't read that story, but it's going to be interesting. So there's a new infectious disease emerging. Walensky resigns as CDC director. She did a good job. I mean, no one <laughs> would know how to handle the COVID pandemic. So it's good that she's taking a break. Watch Stephen Stahl discuss the pharmacokinetics of long-acting treatment option for schizophrenia, please. This just pads the pockets of big pharma. We don't need any new medications for schizophrenia. The old ones work just as well. Uh, that's all I need to say about that. Powerhouse drug shortage limits options to treat two infectious diseases. Well, that's been going on since the 1940s. You know, the, the, my, the bacteria have been... Uh, Two steps ahead of us in our developments of new drugs. And, you know, this story's been going on a long, long time. Corporate giants buy up primary care practices at rapid pace. Oh, really? They've been doing this for, well, let's see, since I think the early 1990s. Uh, yeah. And uh, I saw a primary care practice not long ago uh, still out there on their own. And I thank them for being in the community for people who want that old fashioned touch that they can provide. Study ingredient found in salad bowls and burger wrappers less safe than previously thought. This is us selling fear. Okay. Uh, if you've been watching the news, you know that you're much more at risk of just stepping outside, getting in a car or going anywhere and maybe being shot. Uh, than you are from having a serious illness from this rare thing. Disease experts warn White House of potential Omicron for Omicron-like wave of illness. Again, we're selling fear. I wouldn't worry about that. What's behind shortages of Adderall, Ozempic, and other meds? Yeah, those are complex stories. Uh, won't even t I'll touch on them later. Hospital-associated infections are going up, and it should stop hospitals in their tracks, leapfrog data reveals. Again, this is us obsessing over data and metrics. Um, they mislead us. And I mean, you're always going to get hospital associated infections, for God's sakes. These people kind of live in this world where they expect perfection. And, you know, that's kind of the nature of regulators and people who don't actually work in hospitals. Uh, they think we can have these so-called never events. Uh, yeah, so this is... Uh, yeah, regulators and lawmakers um, not knowing what the real world of medicine is like. That's it for this evening.